Politicians of all parties have been paying tribute to former Health Minister Dr. Noel Brown, who has died at the age of 81. He's best remembered as the Minister for Health who led the fight to eradicate TB and as the author of the Mother and Child Scheme, which caused a major row between the government and the Catholic Church. Tributes were led by the President, who described Noel Brown as an outstanding Irishman with a deep commitment to the health and welfare of the Irish people. The Taoiseach said he would be missed by a great number of people throughout the country. Mr. Bruton said Dr. Brown was utterly fearless in the pursuit of what he thought was right. The Fianna Foy leader Bertie Ahern said Dr. Brown's role in tackling TB would never be forgotten. He described him as a radical thinker who made a huge contribution to Irish society. Tonight, the Catholic Archbishop of Dublin, Dr. Desmond Connell, paid tribute to Dr. Brown's consistent concern for the poor and the suffering. Noel Brown was born in Waterford in 1915. The death of his father, mother and his sister from tuberculosis when he was still a boy marked his early years with hardship and tragedy. Quite obviously that stress was transmitted to us and I think did form a sort of, uh, a sort of an excoriating experience emotionally for me at any rate. Those tragic formative experiences pushed him irrevocably towards a political career. He joined on a public tour at the invitation of ex-Republican Noel Hartnett and was elected to Doyle Aaron for Dublin South East in 1948. He was the first Irish politician since the foundation of the state to become a Doyle deputy and government minister on one and the same day. He was appointed minister for health by his party leader Sean McBride and he immediately set about making his mark banishing the scourge of TB, introducing the blood transfusion service, building new hospitals and generally shaking up the old monolith that was the Department of Health. However, it is for his part in the church-state controversy over the mother and child scheme in 1951 that he is best remembered. The Roman Catholic hierarchy, led by the Archbishop of Dublin, Dr. John Charles McQuaid, objected to the introduction of postnatal care. Uh, as, as to my, my own career, all I can say is that uh, I am still uh, fighting for precisely the same type of health service. I'm more optimistic now than I ever was with the great changes that have taken place. The greatest of all, I suppose, being the approval which Pope Paul put on the idea of socialized medicine which seems to me to have completely vindicated my stand at that time, at any rate. After 1951, Dr. Brown began to be branded as a political maverick. He was returned as an independent in 1951, attempted to join Labour, and on failing to do so, joined Fianna Fáil, from which he was later expelled. He co-founded the National Progressive Democrats in 1958, but left them for the Labour Party in 1963. He lost his seat in 1965, was elected vice chairman of the Labour Party in 1967, and elected to Doyle Aaron again in 1969. After the 1973 general election, he represented Trinity College in the Shannon. I think he will be remembered for his contribution to health, his contribution, if you like, to progressive causes at a time when all of the majority opinion seemed to be willing to accept things that were unacceptable. The courage of mixing, if you like, the political uh, formal, that is as a minister and a door deputy, with the street. Uh, my memories of him will be uh, is a, of a very sensitive man.